Hey, hello there, my name's Carl Surgeon, and today we're going to make an Italian style chocolate tart, if you like. It's an olive oil and chocolate tart, which is people might think it's a bit strange, but it tastes quite yummy. And it re replaces the butter in the recipe, really. So it's good for cholesterol, it's low, lower cholesterol. So we've got some eggs, some cream, some olive oil, some maple syrup, real maple syrup, don't use the constant cheap and stuff, no good. Some caster sugar and some dark chocolate pellets. But you can use uh, blocks of chocolate, but it needs to be the 70% chocolate, nice, strong, rich chocolate. That's that. And also, uh, for this recipe, you will need four to six ounces of sweet pastry, which we, we've um, already made here earlier, which is in a, a nice brown ring, and it's been blind baked. So you've made your pastry case, you put your baking beans in, you bake it for 20 minutes to get it blind baked beforehand. We'll use that in a minute. So first job, we get our chocolates. There's 10 ounces there. We have a little pan on the stove with some warm water in the bottom. We've got our um, bowl and we're going to put our chocolate, our cream and our olive oil in there to melt. That goes in there. Okay. 75 mils of cream or 5 tablespoons. Goes in there as well. Five tablespoons of olive oil. And, uh, this is the equivalent to two, so we're going to use and use extra virgin olive oil. It's good stuff. So there's two, four, and half makes five. To make the uh, tart nice and light and fluffy, we need to add um, some eggs and sugar together and whip them up. The other thing needs to go in here is a is a tablespoon of maple syrup. So use a measuring spoon if you like, but to be honest, a little bit extra not going to hurt. So, good tablespoon and a bit for luck. It's got a lovely flavour. It's amazing the tree can make such good syrup. It does. <coughs> okay, so we'll leave that on there now just to melt away, give it a little stir, just to blend it. So we've got our chocolate and uh, cream and olive oil and maple syrup in here. And we've got over a simmering pan of water and just give it a little stir just to get the whole lot to blend and mix. And once it's completely mixed and homogenised, we'll be able to fold it in with our eggs and our sugar, which we're now going to whisk up and uh, make it light and fluffy. And we'll fold it into the chocolate, we'll pull that into our flan case, so we'll pop it in the oven. And the oven's preheated to gas mark 5 or 180 degrees C. So in a large bowl like this, we're going to add our four whole eggs. Just crack them into the bowl. Always keep an eye on your chocolate all as you're going along as well. So there's four eggs here. Okay, into the bin there. In this pan, in this bowl, we have three and a half ounces of cast sugar. That'll go with the eggs. Go back there. Go that. Now you can um, be lazy if you like and use one of these, or you can use a hand whisk. That's the same job. So oh, I sweat when you haven't got it. Right, okay, so we've got that there. Well. Okay, so get them in there. Give them a little mix first by hand, just to get them blended a little bit before we put on the uh, machine. And put them off, and just pull this away. Now we have our lovely eggs, light, fluffy, and ready for us to fold in our chocolate. It should be melted nicely now, so we'll give it a little check. Yes, that's beautiful. Now if you look in here now, we've got this lovely, rich, velvety, chocolate with cream in there. Now we're going to give it a little movement now. Just make sure every bit of chocolate's blended and melted. And also, what I want to do is, um, by moving it around a little bit like this, it's actually going to get some of that heat out because we don't want too much heat going on our egg. Okay. Get your spatula, one of these, or a wooden spoon, mm -hmm. and we're just going to get this all into the egg mixture. Okay. So fold it down gently as you can. Get that in there.
Okay. Chop it there. I'm just folding gently. All we don't want to do is whack it and knock all the air out of the eggs. So it's a gentle a half moon shape or a figure of eight. Just keep blending, keep blending till they're all homogenized and lovely. We've got our chocolate mixture. I'm now just going to pour it into here. Okay, and it should all fit beautifully. We've got our oven set at 180. All we do now is pop this in the oven and it should take about 20 minutes. That's all it takes. There's no flour, just sugar and eggs and chocolate in there and a bit of cream. So I'll pop that in there now. Be gentle with it. So the chocolate tart's now been in the oven for 20 minutes. So it's time to just pop it out and then skid it and let it rest for about 10-15 minutes so we can serve it. So we'll just get that out of the oven now. And as you can see, we've got a lovely, glorious, rich looking tart. It's quite tasty, I won't touch it because it's still hot. And uh, we'll let that rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll pop it out of its plain case. Does it like sugar, take a nice wedge out, dollop the creme fraiche, a bit of vanilla ice cream, a bit of pouring cream, anything you want. Okay, chocolate tart is now out of the oven. Um, it's cooled down enough to handle. I just want to make, it's got a loose bottom, so just want to make sure it comes out in one go. Put a hand in the middle and just slowly release the ring. Slide onto the board. You must be gentle with this because it is a delicate little flower, just like me. On there. On the base of here now, there's a little metal, the metal base that we've baked to seal. So we get our fingers into the edge just to find out a little way in. Once we've got a way in, slide it underneath just to loosen it off the base. Yeah, so just get your presentation plate, there's one here. Keep it on the edge, get hold of your base again. And we're just going to slide her off straight on. Trying to keep it as flat as we can. Okay, and there's our beautiful chocolate and olive oil tart. And uh, some ice sugar. Give it a good, generous crunch. And then we'll just get a piece and we'll cut a small piece out of this. Just go to the middle. I'll let you see what it's like inside. Look in the middle, you've got this lovely velvety chocolate moussey effect, but it's got a bit more depth. A bit like a babawa. So it's slightly heavier than the mousse, but not as heavy as solid chocolate. And you have a little feel, it's just got that taste, texture to it. So, and there you have it. A beautiful chocolate and olive oil tart. Done.